Welcome to Echo Catcher. Hello Aries. This is going to be a reading for December 23rd to December 21st. Or December 31st, sorry. 2020. Please like and subscribe. So I'm putting it out there that um, YouTube tries to get us to like, um, gosh, I don't know, get subscribers basically. So they told me how many views I have and I have a lot of views. So this is what I'm going to put out there to you guys. If you subscribe to me, you, if you hit the subscription button, you'll get subscribed to me, which helps me out a lot. And if you don't want the notifications to interfere with your current notifications, just don't hit the bell icon. If you don't hit the bell icon, you will not get any notifications. So if you could just subscribe, and if you don't want the notifications, I understand, but that really helps uh, the the channels that you like on YouTube a lot because they really push us to get the subscribers and there's certain things we have to do to keep our channel. So it's up to you but I really appreciate that. That would help me out a lot. So please remember that there's no way this can connect with every single Aries out there. So if it doesn't fit, don't force it to apply. And the masculine and feminine energies can be vice versa. Because it's just an energy. So I basically just read the cards and then you guys figure out if the cards apply and where they would apply in your situation or your life. And if they don't, then it doesn't relate to you. So hopefully you know your moon or your Venus rising sign and then you could watch those. And then you, because some days your moon sign will click, some days your Venus sign will click, some days your sun sign will click. Alright, so I'm going to pull Whispers of the Ocean Oracle cards for you. First one is 21. Enjoy the journey. Stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. Those changes are not only good but necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. So 21. Enjoy the journey. This is pretty heavy because the state of the world right now is really dire as I feel. So with all everything when I'm looking at this card and I see everything in there and the beautiful and the bounty, this does tell tells me that some of you Aries are having I don't know what the correct word, beauty come into your life. I don't know if new people are gonna come into your life, a new situation, new friends, but a lot of you Aries seem to be having beauty around you. I don't know where that could be coming from. Let me see what 21 says. Because this is a beautiful card. And so, and I know it's hard to calm and think that good things are coming. So it says you can embrace the prospect of starting out on a new journey or project even though you don't quite feel ready or prepared. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place nor do you really know where you are headed. Remaining excited about the potential will benefit you. Upcoming changes will enable a new decision to a direction to emerge. See the good that is already in your life and be thankful for it every day. There are blessings all around you. Put your strengths and constructive attributes into something positive. Be in the flow. Open your eyes and your heart and enjoy this process. There is an ease and a beauty to how you handle this task. And it talks about coral is believed to have appeared on the planet over 542 million years ago. There are over 4,000 species of fish and multitude of other sea leaf. Coral provides a knowledge base about when and where to start. And it supports your endeavors with opportunities. I know coral is super, super strong. And the animals that eat it, they have to have really strong teeth to eat it. So I'm going to take it because it talks about the coral, that coral is super strong and it's been around for 542 million years. So you have been passed down through generations, so to speak, in your family. And there's something in your family that makes you strong the way you are, I feel. So the next card we have for you is 36, Blend into the Environment. You have many skills that can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. This is pretty heavy, adapt accordingly, because, yeah, a lot of people don't know how to adapt and we're learning to a changing world. So it says, enjoy the chance to try something new and different. Any change at this time should be welcomed. 
This is unreal. Determine what you are doing that might be limiting you. Choose to clear away these blockages. Once you do this, you will open the door of opportunity to a wider and more satisfying experience. The octopus is an invertebrate, meaning it does not have a structured spinal column. This is symbolic of your dexterity, grace, and litheness. The octopus can slip in and out of the tightest of places by modifying its body. You will be able to move towards your purpose in extraordinary ways. The outcome might be even better than you had planned. So I don't know if some of you are thinking of businesses doing all this is kind of what I'm picking up. That a lot of you may be thinking of starting businesses that are going to prosper in this time of need that the world is in. And that's how life always happens. There's always opportunities. There's always obstacles. So some people are going to find their path, so to speak, in the hard times to other people. I know that's hard to believe, but that's the way the world works. So I feel like a lot of you Aries might be coming up as entrepreneurs from those two cards. So the next one is 28. Seeing both sides. Take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective. So the first one was 21, then you have 36, and then 28. So if I break them down, it would be 3, 9, and 10, if those mean anything to you. So this says, you are not seeing everything that is transpiring. You might be too close to what is going on. You may be thinking more with your heart than your head. Your emotional involvement may be, may be distorting your understanding of what is truly going on. Look at a situation from someone else's viewpoint. Try to take some time to reconsider and balance your thoughts. Or find someone who has an unbiased position to give you their input. Everything will look different once you do this. You need to use your head a little bit more to read the signs or symbols more accurately. Try to look at your situation objectively and think with it your logical mind. This may help you have a better picture of the situation and evaluate what you need to do next. Ask for balance between mind and heart. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot for you. So Cat Magic, beautiful Aries. This says that you have everything you need to manifest what you want in your life right now. And I know that's hard for a lot of people to believe, but this is what this card says. You have strength, you have the power right now to change your life direction, to go in a different direction to do something. So Nine of C tells me that some of you are looking on the past and you're reflecting on the way things used to be and you want them to go back to the way they were. It, you wish they would, I get it. I see it in this card really strong. So try to accept what's happening. I know it's really hard. Um, try to accept it and try not to be anxious. Try not to get yourself all worked up and look at beautiful strength and balance, Aries. You have the strength and balance to balance yourself and you have the strength to stay at hand on task and to keep your mind positive. The floating cat. So you are undecided about something, you're up in the air about something. This is usually my yes card if that helps you. But when you don't know what to do, you shouldn't do anything at all because when it comes to you, you'll know what to do and you'll land, so to speak. So Fire King, this is pride and ego. So this is a lot of pride and a lot of ego. So the Empress. This is somebody who is very nurturing, very loving. She takes care of the home, the pets, the children, a lot of things. Very, very nurturing person, this person. The Empress. And she holds herself to a high standard. Like she has intuition. She has dignity. Just a lot of good qualities. So the wheel. Aries, this means that something is changing so something new can come in. So a cycle is ending so a new one's coming. And I'm going to be shocked if starting today all the signs get this. But you're getting it today. So a lot of the stuff you already know. I feel like I'm just 
reiterating what we already know. And look at the strength card again. Aries, the strength is coming all over your reading. And this is Leo if you have a Leo around you. You have strength. So I feel like looking at this card that people are depending on you, Aries. People are wanting you to shelter them and make them feel safe and secure. And you have the strength to do this, Aries, compared to some of the other signs, or these wouldn't keep coming up for you, is what I feel. You have it. So the moon could represent a Pisces, either in your birth chart or around you, or a moon could represent somebody's dark side coming out. So I don't know if this is going to cause somebody around you to have a meltdown, to stress out, something of that sort is what I'm totally picking up here. That somebody is having a, their dark side's going to come out. So two of sky is you trying to make a decision about something. And it's a decision that you've carried around for years. And I don't know why you're thinking about it now and why it's coming to light now, but... There is something you've carried around that is back up in your life now for some reason. So nine of earth is you reflecting on your life and you want to move forward. And there's stuff you don't want to take into the future with you. And that's been coming up a lot for a lot of people. We are definitely letting go, a lot of us, of things that do not bring us positivity. There's no reason to keep negativity in your life. So nine of sky, you are really stressed, you can't sleep, you're really stressed, you feel backed in a corner, and a lot of signs feel this way, Aries, a lot of people feel that way, so it's normal with what's going on. So fire kitten, you have to be careful, you have to control the positive thinking, look for your higher power to give you strength and to keep your mind right, do not let your mind wander to where you start doubting yourself or doubting the world or going inside your head and being confused. So try to keep your wits about you, Aries. Try to keep your thoughts not going to the dark side. So five of sky, I feel like people are going to come at you where you have to defend yourself. And I'm not sure why. I don't know if some of you are sick maybe and people are coming at you. And if that's happening to you, I'm very sorry, Aries. Please try to be stronger and rise above people's negativity. I know that's really hard when you're, if some of you are already broken or struggling. Lovers, this is beautiful. This could represent a Gemini around you, Aries, if you have a Gemini. Or this could represent love. Somebody loves you. Somebody wants to comfort you. They want to hold you. They want to make you feel better. Somebody cares. So then you have a tower. The tower is when something ends because it has to rebuild itself. And I think a lot of people are going to have towers. So I'm going to switch over to the Chakra Wisdom deck now. So you have the Magician again. Look at this. It's weird when one side says one. On both of these decks, your very first card was a musician. So in here he has the wands, he has the cups, he has the swords, and he has the pentacles. This tells me you have everything you need to do what you need to do to get through this situation. So you have some sort of magic. I don't know if people are going to come support you and help you. You have two cards that say there's magic around you, Aries. So this is the chariot. This is your life going in a new direction. And there's a lot of passion in there. Victory and success over negative energies. So listen to your intuition is what this says. Because this is an intuition card. So if you get a feeling somebody's being dishonest or placating you or something of that sort, this card says that you are going to be able to override the negative energies around you, Aries. That's good. That's very good. So you guys have strength. So King of Cups. This is love. Somebody's offering love. I feel like it's a restricted love. Like it has to go within their boundaries of love when I see the King of Cups. I mean, he has love. He has love to offer. But I feel like his love is 
his way, at his dispense. And if you can handle that, then good for you. <laughs> Some people can't handle that kind of love. So the lovers twice. Aries, you have the lovers card twice. So somebody is wanting to date you, be your lover, be around you, comfort you. The Empress. The Empress, you get a lot of double cards. Aries. So this is nurturing. This could be her offering self-love to herself or offering her cup of love to other people. And I feel like people watch you and you act with dignity, Aries. And people respect you for that. They look at how you offer things to people. And you don't put people down. You don't... You're pretty equal at how you treat people, basically. So this is the Hermit. This could be a Virgo around you or in your birth chart. Or this could be you're going to get clarity. Fast action communication. Clarity really fast is going to come to you and you're going to know the answer to something. So Queen of Cups. So you have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So I don't know if this is two people. He, she is more intuitive. She is more... She's practical with her coins too. I mean... These two could probably be a power couple, but she is very, she makes a lot of coins, whoever that queen is. And then you have temperance. This is balance and waiting from the universe. And I'm sure we're all going to feel that as well. So then you have the world, which is all the chakras. This is your world changing into a new cycle. You have the cycle card. I feel like you're moving into a more spiritual life. You're more at peace with yourself. You understand yourself more with your religious beliefs, your religious faith, I feel makes you very strong. So Ace of Wands is an opportunity. I feel like a good opportunity is coming towards you, Aries. I don't know what the opportunity is, but I see an opportunity. So Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is karma. This is somebody, I don't feel like this is you, Aries, but it usually comes out when it wants people to see that somebody around you may be getting some bad karma. And it's gonna, if you see it, you don't understand why they're going through a hard time. You may not understand why their life is the way they are. And so this is somebody who put negative energy out to the universe. And it's going to come back to them. And you may witness it is what I'm seeing or feeling. That you may witness it. It might shake you up a little. So just know that karma is real. I don't understand why everybody doesn't think it's real. But for those of you that don't, keep on thinking it's not real. Um, so yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> so this is Nine of Coins. Nine of Coins is luxury. This is you putting your coins away to where you're going to be okay. I feel like you have a savings to fall back on, if that makes sense. So Nine of Cups. I feel like you're going to be more luxurious, possibly, than those around you, for some reason, if that makes sense. Like you planned accordingly, and you're going to be better than those around you, I feel. Aries. So Six of Swords. You're removing yourself from a situation where there's lower energies or some behavior you've carried around or some thought. Most part of your life, you're going to be done with that. You're leaving it behind for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. You've moved through it maybe. It's irrelevant now. I'm not really sure. So Four of Swords is you taking a break because your heart you feel like you're overloaded. Your heart is like, I don't know if you're thinking about somebody you love that you're not with and it's making you really sad. So this is to take a step back, rest your heart, rest your soul, rest your thoughts. You're overthinking something. You're, you're going to make it worse by putting too much negative thoughts into it, if that makes sense. So I think I'm going to pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards now. The first one for you, Aries, is trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. 
This is a really powerful reading for all you Aries out there. I mean, you guys have had strength and balance twice. You've had trust. You've had the lovers. You've had the cat magician. You've had the cycle. You have had the world card. Um, there's just a lot around, a lot of you Aries going on right now that is really positive. And I, I don't know if you guys know it, but this is healing the purple. So the next one that comes up for you is happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So trust and happiness is basically what this is saying. So that is really hard to put that out there when the world is in the condition it's in. But I'm picking up off these cards that a lot of you Aries are going to think of a starter business and entrepreneurship and it's going to help people. I really feel that and whatever it is I'm not sure but you guys are going to help people and it's going to make you grow. It's going to make you feel happier than you have ever been. You're going to feel prosperous. You're going to feel like you just you helped is what I'm getting. A lot of you are in a lot of ways and maybe it's not even a business. Maybe you're helping those less than because you have a kind heart and you understand what it's like to be without. So, okay, now I'm going to pull two fantasy cats cards, oracle decks for you. The first one we have for you, Aries, is empowering, number seven. You are being empowered. You don't feel it. Maybe some of you do, but the universe is telling me something is being downloaded to a lot of you, Aries. And I'm not sure it's empowering, whatever is being given to a lot of you Aries. And I would like to think that right now, every sign is being downloaded with a super strength or a certain calming or something like that from, our, from the divine. And yours seems to be strength and empowering, and that's beautiful. The next one is feeling, number two. And feelings, it's hard to feel sometimes. Feelings hurt. And it says you guys are feeling a lot of this. You are, you're feeling it and I feel like it's going to make you strong and you're going to help people somehow. And you're going to help yourself in the long run. Beautiful Aries. So I know it's hard and I'm really when I sat down to do this reading I'm really heavy heart wondering what's going to come out and how I can not be so negative and be upbeat so this was really well I feel like please know Aries you are getting downloaded with strength is what this is saying to me um, and try and not let your thoughts get out of hand is all I can say so Bless you all my Aries, all my cross watchers. Thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot.